Welcome to another video of me explaining how I have um, commitment problems and that my mind moves too quickly and that I can never stick to anything because I've already moved on to the next thing by the time I'm supposed to do the thing that I wanted to do. Anyways, it's been a minute. I missed you. You probably don't remember who I am. Um, basically, the past two months, I... There was a situation that kind of like jump started all of this. Okay, I recorded a podcast episode on it on my podcast, Endless Potential. I'll link it down below if you want more like of that. Cause I'm I could sit here and explain the whole thing, but I'm we've processed, we've moved past, we're on to the next thing. Okay. If you've been following along, okay, I have this this whole grand plan and all of these things that I want to do and we're manifesting it, we're doing it all, okay? And I had signed the lease in South Carolina, okay? My furniture was picked out and already like ready to be shipped, okay? I had a dog picked out. Like I, everything was like in motion, okay? All of these plans that I had been working on, they were all like set into motion and happening and it was all great <laughs> until it wasn't. And then it just started feeling wrong and then I just completely ejected everything and was like, we're, we're done, it's not. It's not the time, it's not happening. I'm not moving to South Carolina yet. It is still something I wanna do, it's still a dream of mine. It's just, I'm done making plans because I feel like I make all of these plans of these things that I wanna do and then they all just kind of end up blowing up in my face. Um, and I'm a firm believer that things happen when they're meant to happen in their own timing and it, it just is what it is. Um, and I do believe that when something that you really want doesn't come to fruition or it comes to fruition and it isn't exactly what you thought it was going to be, that just means that something greater is coming around the corner and that maybe I just wasn't ready for this journey right now. So that's that. <laughs> so I am, I pulled out of my lease. Um, we are not moving to South Carolina at this time. Hopefully in the future, but I'm, I'm not going to say anything on it because I feel like people kind of get attached and, and stuck on these things and then I, I have to explain why I changed my mind or why I didn't do it and like I just I move way too quickly to continue to have to like backpedal on things and be like oh I didn't do this it's whatever I'm in a place where I really don't care anymore about what other people think about the things that I'm choosing to do with my life because it is not conventional and it's not the path that everyone else takes but there's nothing wrong with that look at the sun we're staying put for right now but we're not like staying put um i traveled a bunch last year i was just oh i have to okay the school thing too okay i was gonna go to college of charleston that was the whole reason i was moving to Charleston. well not the whole reason i like charleston but i was gonna go to school there do the whole thing get an apartment whatever and then i was like wait a minute i don't love <laughs> like a traditional school setting, okay? I was online for the past two years for college, absolutely loved it. This is something I wanna keep doing. I like being online, I like the flexibility of it, I like being able to make my own schedule, do things when I wanna do them, I don't wanna be tied down to a specific place. Okay, freedom, right? It's all about the freedom. See, I'm falling into my own patterns. I was gonna stop filming this because I don't like the way that the lighting looks, but Liv told me that no one cares about the lighting, so it's fine. So. I was gonna go to like normal college, right? Thought that that was gonna work for me. It, I haven't done things the way that other people have done them my entire life, so why why would I think that that would start now? So I people don't know about this, okay? You can go to college like completely online. Like big universities have online college programs, okay? And you graduate with a degree from that university. I just feel like the collective of us that don't want to have a normal college experience like uh, no one tells us about these other options okay if you don't want to go to like a normal college and you just want to like hang at home with your parents and like book a plane ticket when you feel like it that's an option okay it's what i'm doing so yeah I'm still at home and i love it okay my family and i have always been so close we are still so close and we're gonna figure it out as we go, okay? But the, the purpose of this video 
is not for me to like explain to you well it is kind of an explanation because I felt bad that I like didn't post for like two months um but it's not like so much of like fully an explanation as it is a sign for you that you don't have to like just because you said that you wanted to do something doesn't mean you deciding you don't want to do it anymore is a bad thing and that you need to feel bad about it okay I spent the last two months making myself feel like absolute shit because I wanted this thing and I had told everyone about this thing that I wanted to do and then the second I didn't want to do it anymore I I didn't and then it just I'm not making plans anymore because I just I'm not a planning kind of person I never have been and I ever will be when things happen they happen and at this point we're just kind of going with it and and figuring it out as we go so I just feel like there is so much societal pressure for us to go to conventional college and like do things the normal normal way um, I never wanted a part of it. I don't want a part of it. So, hello. <laughs> so, what's next? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, right now, am at a point where I'm just focusing on growing more as an individual, like healing my body, okay? We're getting like really healthy. Like I'm, I'm just learning so much, okay? Along with the school stuff. I am just trying to absorb all of the information, all of the knowledge that I possibly can. Learning more about like food being medicine, learning more about yoga and that sort of thing, learning more about different cultures and different places. And I'm just sort of preparing myself more because I know that I have more growth to do before I can fully experience all of the things I want to experience like and really get the most out of them. I think when situations are put in front of us in our lives, they're only put there if we're ready for them and I wasn't ready for this specific thing that I wanted to do and that's why it didn't happen. So I'm just now focused on learning more and growing more and we're gonna go from there. And I'm not gonna say, okay, because I always have like this pattern of like I say that I want to start daily vlogging and then like I don't post anything for two months. So we're not gonna say that, but I have exciting like partnerships with different brands coming up. I really just want to focus on growing this platform um, and sharing more of like my day-to-day -day life versus just like the highlight reel of when I'm like traveling or you know doing something fun and more of just like the mundane of me taking my probiotics and doing yoga and laying in the sun so yeah that's the vibe right now <laughs> um so when I posted like a little Instagram question thing of um like content that you want and someone said your apartment I was like oof not yet <laughs> yet okay I love you Thank <laughs> you.